The mother reported that the heart rate had been rampant for the last nine months, and that she was told that it is a sign of steady cardio. This is an example of his echocardiography with LV hypokinesia. During continuing with our presentation, please consider, was this the correct decision? Is there something missing? The third case will be presented by Dr. Sandy. Good evening. The third case is an infant, seven months old, presented to emergency department with severe hypothermia or peripheral perfusion. Shock therapy was initiated, but the patient started to develop signs of pulmonary edema. At this stage, echocardiography was carried out and showed dilated bone contracting less eventually. In troops were initiated and the condition stabilized, and he was switched to anti failure medications. History and the examination are unremarkable except for some constipation, one motion every three days, and then umbilical hernia that was never operated open. And the parents were told that it will resolve immediately, uh, spontaneously. This is a cardiography for the echocardiography for the skin showing dilated left ventricle. Is it a correct decision? Is there something missing? The answer of this case and for the previous cases will be discussed by Dr. Safo. Okay, let's read the sequence. Back to case one, we have a four month old boy who presented with attacks of crying and misdiagnosed as gastroesophageal reflux and didn't improve on regular treatment. Patient presented to ER with a picture of cardiogenic shock and echo shows dilated cardiomyopathy. And as a more common, dilated cardiomyopathy 12 ECG was done. But it was misdiagnosed and misinterpreted as normal ECG. But if we look back, we found that there are pathological views at day one and the EVM. What caused ischemia in such a four month old boy? Pathological cues mean that there is ischemic myocardium, and ischemia, by to topography at day one and EVL, is due to left coronary ischemia. Cardiac catheterization showed that, that aortic root, right coronary, and left coronary is supplied by collateral from right coronary. So, we have a syndrome of Alcala. A normal uh, origin of the left coronary from the pulmonary artery. It's asymptomatic in the neonatal period and it started to present beyond the period and the neonatal period when the pulmonary vascular resistance the, the, the failed. So, blood supply to a left myocardium is deficient quantitatively and quantitatively. Deficient quantitatively because the distinct phenomenon occurs from the left coronary to the pulmonary artery. And the quantitatively, because the origin of the left coronary arises from the pulmonary artery, which is this oxygenated blood. So, it is not just by native coronary, but it is normal ECG. It's an alcohol. Back to case two. We have here patients with heart rate regular 160 beats and Interpreted the ECG as sinus tachycardia, and the physician here didn't revise his ECG. By revising his ECG, we pass the following. B waves are inverted, so it's never a sinus tachycardia. It's a copy tachycardia. This patient needs a treatment for arrhythmia, just. Back to case 3, we have here a patient with severe hypothermia. Dilated pore contractility in the LV and constipation and pelican hernia in a seven month old boy. That's it. It's a triad of constipation, cardiomyopathy, and hernia. It's hypothyroid. So we just need a drops, not personalized and otherwise. Why the own hormones affects or uh, important for a cardiac uh, for cardiac muscles? It acts on the receptors, receptors, mostly regulates the alpha IC, and have a, a, a have effect on the cardiac contractility. So 
We have Andy, he's one of grade, he's two received a middle roll, and he's three received a strong supposed to be a bit here, but it's not working. So, the errors in case one is the interpretation of an ECG, and case two, revising his ECG, and case three, the ability of learning and constellation when it's a clone or hypothyroidism. Take home message. In a patient diagnosed as dilated cardiomyopathy, twin bleed ECG is a mandatory. Don't forget the ECG. Focus on waves, Q waves in mid one and EVI. Focus on BD with morphology as case two, and in any hypokinetic NV, thyroid profile is essential. Okay? Take a try. It is about to skip. Yeah. And acknowledgement. Many thanks to Dr. Antoine, Dr. Amr Bathala, Dr. Hussein. Uh, this presentation presented by Shayna Samir, uh, Fatima, Ahmed Haggag, Salma Hanafi, and me, Safa Fouel. And many thanks to Dr. Faden for this opportunity.